Okay, so I've got a muddy road up here. I'm trying to uh, flatten out, correct the drainage. Um, because when people travel up through here, it's rutting up really bad, so I'm trying to clear it out. This machine actually is the RK24 with the loader, and I'm using the, the blade on the back right now. It's a little, it's too light to be able to do this. You need something with traction given when the mud, but I mean, it's, it's doing something. Really, you need a dozer for something like this, but what I'm doing is I've used the blade going this way, but I lose so much dirt due to spillover from the back of the blade um, that the long trips just aren't doing it. So you can't do it like a dozer where you just make multiple trips back and forth to get to the dry dirt. So I'm doing like short trips back and forth. Um, at least it's not rutting up. I've been traveling on that right there and it's not that bad. So I do a couple passes. push it up so it floats you get a little extra digging power you could take it off the float and just use actually put some pressure down it's not good for the cylinders given how small these things are So I angle the box, the boy, uh, loader down, push it up, and then all the way up to the top, and that floats. Some people don't know about that. See, it's not digging. I actually put a little pressure in there. And if it starts to spin, then I'll let up on the bucket pressure. If I'm doing any good or not up here, but it's getting down to a little bit of gravel over there. Gravels are very expensive over here, anyway. That you got to get them hauled from so far off that it gets just too expensive. I'll show you a little bit of what this blade can do. That issue is getting all these things adjusted correctly. You see how the blade is, instead of being up and down or maybe even that way, it's more that way. So it's not digging as aggressively as it could. So I got it in uh, low gear, four wheel drive. Get that with the bucket. 